everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie I hope you're doing well feeling good and ready for another pick a pile reading this time we are doing how would a tarot reader describe you to your person so if your person went to another tarot reader like me what would they be telling your person about you I'm gonna try to get as much details as I can my hair is so freaking <laughs> I know people out there have hair like me that's like half wavy, half straight, and on these really humid days and nights, it just like poofs out like a fucking crazy pants. So sorry if I keep touching it, it's just like wider than normal. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Do you like my new raincoat? I like it. I'm going to wear this for my late night walks and runs for my diet for the next 30 days. I'm doing a crazy diet. But it's cold down here, so I'm testing it out. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into your piles. No more nonsense. We're doing nail polishes tonight just because I felt like it. So, pile one, we're going to call hot pink. Are you vibing to this super cute color? I think it's that color right there, to be honest. Oh, damn, look at it. <laughs> Whoops. I guess it's time to do my nails tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Pile two is, you can't really see it well on here, but it's like a shimmer, shiny light pink. Shimmery. We're gonna call this glitter pink. Little glitter pink, like Tinkerbell. <laughs> and pile number three is just cute little cotton candy light pink. So, pile one hot pink. Pile two, glitter pink. Pile three, light pink. Pause it if you need to. Pick your pile. Go to the description box below. Three, two, one. Or one, two, three. <laughs> Whatever way you want to do it. All right, I'll see you at your pile, everyone. Boy. Hi, pile one. You picked hot pink. Super cute. All right. Let me spread your little pre-drawn thread I just did before this reading. This is going, this part one, we're going to talk about, oh, I lost the card somewhere. I don't know that. I'm losing it. <laughs> this talks about your personality. Like your personality attributes. So, we have the star, so you have a star quality. This tarot reader would be saying to your person they have that it factor. When they walk in a room, people notice. Or they could, you could be having a glow up right now as well. That could be that as well. Ooh, G.I. Jane. It could be in the military or just see you as somebody who has overcome a lot, faced a lot of adversity and would stood it a fighter. Then we have Oprah Winfrey. So they could be in like, they could be saying you're a good interviewer or somebody who is easy to talk to, could sit down and get the information out of you. Um, someone very generous, um, also very successful and career oriented. So they're saying you have that it factor, that star quality. You're a fighter. You would fight through hell and you have. Maybe you've had a difficult, difficult time or a difficult life. And Oprah Winfrey, it hasn't made you jaded. It's made you generous and hardworking and wanting to succeed. Then we have Garfield, but you're being a bit lazy or you like to be lazy. As hardworking as you are in your career, maybe you're like more of a homebody. Maybe you like lasagna or maybe you're just like sarcastic. But they're definitely... Maybe you just like to take your time. You like to be comfortable. You like to, um, well, for this, I'm just getting comfort is important to you. Um, you work so hard at your job and other things that when you come home, that's your space to just be like, Ugh. you know what I mean? Maybe they're saying you're being protective of your space because you have been working so hard on your career. Ooh, brunch. The world card. The world's looking up for you. You've come through a lot. Now you're starting to reap the rewards, this tarot card reader would be saying. Um, 
they could be saying you're celebrating, celebrating your your success or something in your life. Maybe birthday. Um, maybe you got a promotion. Um, that your abundance is coming in or you're very abundant in this time. Again with the warrior. So yeah, somebody who's very, you could be an advocate here. You could be somebody who fights for justice. Um, could be military as well. A strong military background or a sense of duty here. Um, but I just feel like you've, you've fought. You've had a very hard life and you've fought. Then we have mother. So you're very, they're saying you're very nurturing. They could even be saying you're the mother of their future children if you're female. Um, they, they're saying that you're somebody who's very nurturing, kind, patient. All good stuff. All right, let's talk about your energies and your personality um, towards this person. Which would be you. <laughs> Your person towards you. I said that backwards. Alright. So. Frog here. You're somebody who's very adaptive. Or you could be somebody who jumps from. Is the one that jumps first. So that they don't get rejected. Or they don't get left. So they could be saying that you have commitment issues but I feel like with all this warrior and this frog you get through things with such grace and such dignity like no matter what happens you're like the frog you just keep on hopping <laughs> then we have ooh, what a powerhouse they're saying you have spiritual gifts they also are saying that this is your twin flame but you have a strong psychic awareness a strong spiritual connection Cheetah, they kind of, um, they're a fast mover. They're someone that gets some stuff done. But I think they move fast in love as well. Uh, what energy is, would they say you are? <laughs> this one's hard. Um, Pisces, you, f you feel very deeply. You have very strong feelings for this person. <laughs> Yeah, that you have strong feelings for your person. This is my first time ever doing this. I gotta get, like, I'm saying it to you how they are talking about you and it's just, it's confusing me for a second. <laughs> Sagittarius, ooh, they're trying to be smart. I think this is a matching energy here with the Sagittarius. I think you both have strong feelings for each other, but this tarot reader is saying um, you have deeper feelings than you're showing. Um, and you're trying to be smart about it, but I think so are they as well. Mercury. There's, this tarot reader would be saying you sense and understand a past life connection here, or you feel like you've known them your whole life. There's a, like a, a recognition of some kind here, of souls, recognition of souls. All right, let's talk about your dark side. <laughs> what, if there's anything negative or anything you're going through, what the, what would they be saying? Holy Jesus. Triumph of lies. I think the tarot reader would say that you have sometimes, um, you feel you have stuff to prove to the world. Um, maybe the circumstances you grew up with um, painted the back bad picture of you or people said false things about you and so now you're just out to be like no now I'm going to prove you all wrong so sometimes you can get in your ego but I think it's a motivating mo a motivating attribute but at the same time I think in this connection your ego has gotten in the way a little bit the temple of my body so this tarot reader would say you're not comfortable um with your skin right now or you're not comfortable with something like you're embarrassed about something or you want to change something something that you're feeling self-conscious about um you have a lot of insecurities at this time but that happens to us all it's just a growing growing pain as we go along hiding your true self so this tarot reader would be saying you don't hide and you don't tell this person your feelings you're hiding your feelings um you don't feel comfortable coming forward and being like hey this is how I feel you're hiding your your hurt as well fated to suffer so this person 
this tarot reader is <laughs> saying that you feel this is going to be a constant pain fated to suffer like maybe you feel you lost this person or you just have bad luck and, and love just doesn't stick I'm getting those vibes as well they're saying that you have a strong vision I feel like this is psychic as well you could be having a lot of um, specific detailed dreams lately but vision with this vision and purpose you're you're made you're oh my god why can't I speak basically focused on your career your spiritual work um, your spiritual calling at this time but you do want unity here that's what this tarot reader would be saying despite being focused on your career despite being guarded a little bit you still want to come together and try to make it work all right let's get some more details yeah you've you let pride get in your way here you feel like you have to have your guard up with your person is what this tarot reader is saying again with the strong intuition so you could have psychic abilities you could be a medium empath tarot reader yourself um music i think they would say um that you try to communicate in the 5d through music with your person or you could be somebody who's very musical you could write music i'm hearing that for some And you're thinking about communicating or that you want communication from this person, but you want the ball to get rolling. You don't want this no contact thing to continue. You want answers and I feel like your person does too. That's what this tarot reader would be saying. Two of swords. Woo! Lord. So this tarot reader is saying you have a decision to make and, and you can't, you're having a difficult time deciding. I, this could be, I got another 11 here. This could be, should I, this tarot reader could say that you are on the fence. Should I let go of this connection or should I work on it and have hope? Um, do I pick this person or do I pick that person? Am I going to have to pick my job over this per They're like... They have a lot of decisions yet to make in their mind. But they do want to talk to you with this Ace of Swords. This, I mean, you want to talk to them. Your the tarot reader, your person's tarot reader is like, they want communication. This is like basically twice. But with this Two of Swords, I feel like they also don't want it. This tarot reader is like, they don't want to be the one that speaks first. Two of Wands. another 11 they would say that you daydream a lot you you've been in your head about this thinking about the your person a lot which is them <laughs> um i do also sense some fear of making the wrong choice or putting in more energy than the other they're afraid they're saying you're afraid it's off balanced nine of swords yeah you're they're saying you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid you lost them forever. That there's no going back. But they're saying that you're very gifted. That again, this is like motherly to me. This is your future wife, future mama, <laughs> future... Um, or this is somebody just very abundant, nurturing. They're saying they're very nurturing for you. They're, they're caring but they're concerned about heartache. And they would say that you want to give them a cup of love, but you have a lot of insecurities and a lot of fear and a lot of questions. So I know that was confusing in the vocabulary. <laughs> As I do these more, I'll get better at it, I promise. But I hope that you liked it. Pile number one, um, I got, look, I got a whole list. I'm going to be doing all different kind of, kinds of readings. So if you like this one and you want me to keep working at it, hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe button, the little bell. Share this to, whom, to whomever you wish. Why can't I ever talk when I hit record? <laughs> um, and thanks for your time. Thanks for popping by. I appreciate you all. I'll see you next time. Bye, Pile 1. Hey, Pile 2. You picked the cute little glitter pink. <laughs> Shimmery pink. Alright, so we're going to start with what would their tarot reader be saying about your personality and the kind of person you are in general. 
so ooh, we have Joey and Pacey from Dawson's Creek. So they're saying that you could possibly know each other from childhood or that you're an unlikely pairing, but that an unlikely pairing that works well together. Um, could have been a dropout in high school. Could have been someone that got a GED. Could be someone is who is organized. Go like fly by the seat of the pants type of person. And they could be saying you have a lot of sexual energy between the two of you. Loud and proud. You are who you are, loud and proud. You're comfortable in your own skin. You don't change for nobody. You're not going to try to fit in. You're like, you're a unicorn. You stand out. Billy the kid, but you can, <laughs> ooh. Could be a bit immature or a troublemaker at times. Um, or it could be a good shot, a good marksman. Could have a record or have done criminal time. Could have an infectious laugh or dress as well. Could be swear a lot and be sarcastic or has a good sense of humor. To me, for this, I'm getting you might have a turbulent childhood that you also have a sarcastic sense of humor, but you also like to dress well as well. You take care of your appearance. Ooh, Ace Ventura, pet detective. So you could um, be someone who works with animals or just has that nurturing, like, um, quality. You could be a detective or a PI. Just basically a rare and unique personality. Very funny out there like Ace Ventura, pet detective here. Like you're, con you're confident to be able to come out and talk with your butt in front of a room full of people. Like at Ace Ventura. You're a wild card in the best sense. Ooh, Insta famous. The sun, you make them so happy. You could be glowing up. You could be actually getting famous right now or they're telling your person you're about to get famous. Um, could be a little bit self-involved right now. I don't feel like it's like a narcissistic sense. I think you're just focused on your self right now. Um, far from candid. Yeah, I just feel like you don't have a censorship. You're always just going to say how you feel and it can come out a little bit blunt or harsh or has between the two of you. Child eternal. You have a childlike wonder. You are also a good manifester like because you have that childlike sense that anything's possible. You believe in love. You have a fantasy about love. You believe in magic. Childlike wonder. You're, there's a youthful side. With the immature, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Maybe you look very young or you just like to play and have fun and it's infectious. Ooh, Messiah. They're saying you're a light worker here, that you have a, a big purpose. This could be a twin flame here as well. Let's get into your energies and more about your personality. So we have Buffalo. You're a family-oriented person or you like to keep your circle small. But the people that you do let in your circle are very important to you. You like to follow your herd. You could be a nomad here. Maybe you don't just stick in one place. You could be a traveler. Um... You, I feel like you also have a big personality with this buffalo. Beaver, you're somebody who's very hardworking. Like you're a builder of things. Maybe you build websites, companies. Maybe you make something with your hands. But whatever it is, you, you work hard. You're always going to be a hard worker. In relationships with people, in your job, it's just who you are. They're saying you're unique, you have spiritual gifts, and you have a very big purpose. Again, with this Messiah and Cosmic Egg, um, you have spiritual gifts for a reason, and you're going along the spiritual journey, and I feel like with this Insta-Famous, you might be doing something in the public eye here, this tarot reader could be saying. Ooh, Libra, you want justice here? This tarot reader is like, you want, there's unfinished business between the two of you, you and your person, and you want, you want to have a sit down. You want to hash this out. Or they, they're saying that you want them to return. That you have a lot of passion, or this could be anger. It could be either or. With this justice, 
They could be saying you are a person that you are very passionate about them. You want to bring this to justice to start a new cycle. Or you're very angry that justice hasn't come in yet. It could be either or. Let's see. Cancer. Cancers are ruled by their emotions. I feel like <laughs> you get this person going. Maybe they are saying you're a little bit heated. So they're saying that they, <laughs> your person gets you going. Like one of you is in a sexual energy and one of you is in a frustrated <laughs> energy. Let's talk about if they're saying anything bad about you or what you need to work on or what you're going through right now. We have downcast pride. Living in their pride and ego, they're saying you are right now. You just don't want to show your hurt. So you're, you're trying to pretend that you're good. Is this me? You're trying to find out who you are. You're feeling a little lost at this time. Masquerade. You're also hiding your feelings and you're hiding your pain. Artificial heart. Yeah, you're not being authentic to them and you're not being authentic to yourself. You're not showing the people in your life that you are feeling a little lost. Maybe you feel like you have to hide your feelings. Or they're pretending that they don't feel much or that you don't feel much for them because they're protecting their heart. Or they're feeling, they're saying that you feel they're wearing a mask so you're not giving them their heart. But there's some conflict here about people not showing feelings. I feel like this is on both of your side. That's why it's getting a little blurry with this masquerade and artificial heart. I think you're both acting like you're good in this, but you're not. And that's what this tarot card would reader would be expressing. Um, they're saying that you have a lot of humility and you're trying to do things the right way. Maybe you feel like in some sense that this is wrong. Or there's something that would be wrong about it. Um, you are thankful that they came in their, that your person came into your life, that you learned a lesson. But they have priorities, right? Or you have priorities right now. You're focused on your priorities. You're focused on yourself and working on your glow up and working on your career. You are, they're saying you're trying to manifest here. You could be trying to manifest to sit down or for this person to come back or manifest success in your career. They're saying you're teaching others what you've learned and you're also teaching yourself what you don't want and what you do want. You're in a very big growth spurt intellectually and spiritually at this time. They're going to say that they're saying that you two are going to have a happy ending because it's a spiritual partnership. They're basically saying this is your twin flame and right now you're supposed to be apart so that you two can do your spiritual work, but eventually you're going to come back together. Um, they're saying that you're having a tower moment right now. Maybe you're realizing that this person it means more to you than you let on. Or um, this could be shocking news that this person's coming back into your life. Or that sit down is happening soon. But there's upheaval here. A new end of a cycle being torn down and the beginning of a new cycle. Ten of Wands. This is very challenging. Very taxing on you. You feel burdened by this. Maybe you feel a little pressured as well. You have a lot of anxiety and stress about this connection. Um, what it all means and where, where it's going. You want a serious commitment, this tarot reader is saying. They, that you want your person to offer you something solid. And you can't trust that right now that they're going to give you something solid. Um, Ace of Wands, but fast movement though. It could be saying, they could be saying it, that you don't see them coming, like your person's coming back quickly. They're saying to your person that they don't see this, that you don't see this happening at all, but you feel very burdened. Um, some kind of shocking news I'm hearing. And then, ooh, the star. So... Could be Aquarius here. I'm hearing, but mostly I'm saying, I'm saying, seeing a glow up for you here. 
they're saying you're doing well, you're you're getting as far as career, everything you wanted, or you could be getting that dream job. It could be talking about that coming in for you as well. But the, basically, this is like, this is your one, and you're in a little bit of a funk right now. You're both in your head. You have a lot of, a lot of anxiety going on. God damn, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I think you're going through, both of you are going through big growth spurts, and this tarot card reader is expressing that as well. One of you is very choked up because it's hard for me to speak, but... To me, this is telling me that you just want some answers. You're either, you're on the fence about cutting this loose and deciding if you should stay. So they could be recommending to your person that they hurried it along a little bit and <laughs> contact and reach out. So I hope this was helpful. I This is my first time ever doing this one. So I know the vocabulary kept bouncing, but it's a little awkward <laughs> to do this. I'll get better over time. I have a long list of all different kinds of readings I'm going to try. Um, so if you want me to do this in the future again and continue to get better at it, just hit the like button below to vote. I want this one. <laughs> um, hit the subscribe button and the bell if you could, please and thank you. Share this with whomever you see fit. <laughs> and thank you for your time. I'll see you next time, Pile 2. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. You picked light pink. Super cute. All right. So the first part of this reading is what the tarot reader is saying about you as far as personality and what you're like in general. So the fireballer, the emperor. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like you're, this person is saying to your person that you're anxious to get out and about. I think you're excited about your summer activities. Um... Maybe that you're trying to persuade them in some sense to come back, but I feel like that's for a small few. Basically, overall, I feel like this tarot reader is saying you have had enough of quarantine and isolation and you're ready for a fun and awesome and energetic summer. Or maybe they want to come and party with you as well. Woo, Sunny and Cher. So this could be someone that you work with. Or they're saying that you could have a successful partnership. Both uh, Sunny and Cher both loved each other and worked with each other. So I feel like this tarot card is, reader is saying that you guys would have a great professional match and a great love match. I know Sunny and Cher ended in divorce, but they loved each other. They stayed friends. I get. Um, I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying you're going to get divorced. They're saying that you're both good at being business partners and lovers and balancing the two. So that's good. Ooh, Noah, the notebook. A deep lover follows their heart or their gut. One lover at a time, very loyal. Longs for you. Or you could be longing for your person. I just feel like um, they're saying you're a good, trustworthy person. You could be a masculine. Um, you're like the boy next door, sweet, good-hearted person. A keeper. Noah is a keeper. <laughs> All right. Wednesday, the Adams family. But you do have a little bit of a dark side or a dark sense of humor. You could come from a hard family as well or a family people think is weird or don't understand much about. Robin Williams. Oh, you're a comedian. <laughs> you have a funny side, but to me, this is like, sorry, my eyelashes itch. That's weird. Um, that's a new one for a reading. Usually my face itches and now my eyelashes are itching. What's that? Um, like Patch Adams. So you could, if you're like a nurse, like you heal people through your comedy or you laugh off your pain. Everybody loved Robin Williams. They had that, he had that light about them. So I feel like this tarot reader is saying that you have a light about you as well. Yeah, you're an advocate. It's fighting for change. You could be an attorney. Um humanitarianism I'm hearing like you're fighting for change you're willing to gamble for your dreams as well and gamble on this relationship you're willing to gamble both you are a gambler in life if it feels good to you in your gut you're just gonna go go for it you're not gonna ask questions Ugh, something's on my lip this lipstick is weird it was like really cute light pink but now it just Anyway, <laughs> let's get your energy um, and more about you as a personality. 
With this snake, you've overcome a lot. It's like you're shedding your skin right now. You're going through a transfer transformation and a glow up. You're learning a lot of life life's, <laughs> life lessons. Where did lights come in? I don't know. Ooh, you're trying to show off this glow up. Maybe you lost weight or this is like you going out. Maybe you're looking for love this summer. You could be trying to peacock to the opposite sex. You could be wanting to meet at a party and lay down those one-liners or what have you, whatever people do. <laughs> um, I just feel like you want to get out and be like, hey, I just you're feeling confident, you're feeling good, and you want to show yourself off, but I don't feel like it's in a narcissistic way. Maybe you want to show your person off as well. Feeling very spiritually pulled. You're, I feel like this tarot reader is saying you're both feeling that energy pulled to each other. Um, also that your person has had a big effect on you and made them change and start this new trance. Formation. Venus. Ooh, their energy is very in love. They would be saying that you are in love with your person or you have a lot of love for them. That you um, feel happy that your person makes you happy or you feel this is a good partnership here or you feel a good omen about it. Could be trying to gain courage as well here. Ooh, your feelings run deep, they would be saying. You're in love, you have deep feelings, and you're excited. That's what this tarot reader is saying about you. Let's talk about if there's anything negative um, or what you could be working on right now. Calling the storm. So your person, or this tarot reader would be saying that you don't feel like you have enough to offer. Or you're not feeling good enough. You're still a little bit in the lack sense. Or you're nervous and have a lot of anxiety. Like you could be nervous about reaching out or coming forward. Oh yeah, my face is itching. This is a good one. It's itching. I could just want to... This is a powerful connection. <sighs> so basically, you are calling in the courage you need to come forward and the courage to drop those I don't have enough to offer or I'm not good enough. There's still a little bit of lack and a little bit of fear that needs to be deaded here. Ooh, that, <laughs> this tarot reader is saying you're addicted to this connection. You could be stalking or sexually addicted to the, your person in some sense. Fragmentation. You don't know the full story. You don't... You have a lot of questions that aren't answered and it bothers you. Um, but also your energy fluctuates like one minute you're in this connection and one minute you're pulled back like yes I want it and then that fear and anxiety kicks in and then you step back so your energy isn't all in you're not um willing to put out full energy at this time either atonement they would be saying that you feel like you have um suffering to do or that that it's owed to you like maybe you feel like you've wronged this person in some sense or um it's because a mistake like you just feel like you have to that you've earned this hardship in some sense or you could they could be saying that you feel stabbed in the back as well they're saying that you have this kindness you're definitely humanitarian happy bubbly patchatomy vibes yeah you have a lot of self-love you're somebody who promotes self-love and is working hard on that um Maybe you ebb and flow. You could struggle with depression, they're saying. You're building up your tolerance here. <laughs> Maybe you've been impatient to your person. So they're saying that you're trying to like calm down and not be so lash outy or with harsh words. Um, they're saying you want you're following your dreams, trying to find your your soul path here. They're saying you want a relationship change that you're not happy in the current relationship you're in and you're not happy with this um unfinished business between you and your person you want either them to leave a person or you want to leave someone so that you can have a relationship change or they're not going to change and be in a relationship with you until you leave your karmic but they are saying that you want to nurture this you want you don't want this connection to die you're willing to put energy in if they show 
that they're in too. All right. Ooh. We have three of wands and three of swords. Um, so I feel like somebody here was abandoned. I think you, the viewer, they're saying you feel abandoned or left out in the cold and it's bro broken your heart. Either they um, blocked you or you blocked them. This is no separate or in separation, no communication. This is them maybe moving on with that karmic, moving on with their own life and you are watching them leave broken hearted. Or this could be past tense as well. But I think it is a little bit past tense because we have the fool's journey. So now this is you. Like, all right, this person left me and broke my heart. So now I'm going to go do my own thing. And I'm going to trust that love will come back into my life. So you're out here with a broken heart. Still not quite over this. But you're trying. You're trying to move on here. Four of pentacles. Um... You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're not willing to give more into this connection because this person left you in a third party or left you for a third party or there was some kind of third party situation. So this is them sitting on their feelings. This is them not moving forward because they feel betrayed or you feel betrayed and hurt. So you're like, no, <laughs> this is what your tarot card, your person's tarot card reader is saying about you. Like you had your heart broken. You're not moving. You're sitting on your feelings. You're just trying to work, focus on yourself and have this glow up in your career. There could be competition. So this tarot card reader is saying, you feel there's too much competition. You're not going to compete with this person's karmic. There's too much drama. So you have removed yourself and you're just hanging out, trying to see, like, this is you going blindly, hoping that spirit will make this right, make justice come, make you bring, come back into their life. But they're not trying to look back at you because it's too painful. Um, they don't... They don't want issues or to be caught up or you don't want to be caught up in them and their karmics fighting. This is an awkward one to do. You're like, fuck no, I'm not going to compete. I don't compete. I'm an empress, emperor, and I am your twin flame and I'm not going to fight your karmic. So you either end your karmic, change your relationship, or I'm going to keep going on my fool's journey here. You're just, you're waiting for them to move, your person to move. That's what this tarot reader is telling them about you. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of different readings. I have a whole list of all different ones to try. So if you like this one, I know I'll, I'll get better at it as we go. This is my first time ever doing it. So it's a little bit awkward because I'm talking about you. But another tarot reader, I'm usually talking about your person. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> I will get better at it though. If you like this topic and you want more, hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell, share this to whomever you wish. Thanks for your time. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Love you.